Hi guys, we are going to be starting this video off with a huge thanks to 100 subscribers. I know it's not a lot, I know it's not a thousand, it's not 10,000, it's not a hundred, it's not a million, but it's something, especially for me barely even posting and not the best quality videos, but I try my best. In this video, as you saw in the title, we are going to be doing three PC budgets and parts uh, for your first build or your next build, whatever. Uh, I'm gonna be using PC part picker, as in the thumbnail so yeah if you know already you should be using pc part picker because then you really know that your pc is going to work now i'm not sure if it's ai or whatever but it works so let's get on to the video right now by the way i am not familiar with any of the amd graphics cards just nvidia so that's all i'm going to be using in this video starting at 500 dollars, we got to prove this came up 500 dollars, 4.99 and 9 cents so first we start off with the CPU. It is the Ryzen 5 5600G, 6 core, 12 threads. This will uh, do good. It runs as your CPU and your GPU because this is a bit of low budget for a GPU. So this is going to be both. The ID Cooling SE225 XT is going to be keeping your CPU cool at 3499s. Pretty good price. For a PC, you of course need a motherboard. That's like the main part pretty much. Uh, this is the MSI B550 Gaming Gen 3. So it's... Uh, I think it's Wi-Fi 3 or something like that, but uh, it is compatible, obviously. Um, but yeah, it's a DDR4 PCIe uh, 3.0, L. but yeah. For your RAM, which is going to be 16 gigabytes, we got the Oloy or something like that. It's DDR4, 3200 megahertz. Isn't the fastest, but it's going to do the job. For the SSD, my brother actually has this in his PC right now, is a 500 gigabyte Crucial P3 Plus. I think it says Crucial, something like that. I know I said that a lot. Um, anyway, this uh, Gen 4, so it's going to do pretty good. 500 megabytes. Like I said, no graphics cards, so now we're just going to skip right onto the case. And for the case, is this G Jam Dias ATX Mid-Tower uh, Gaming PC case. It is. It has fans, as you can see. I believe the fans come with it. Yep, 4X. Yep. So we got fan at the back and three at the front. And it's RGB for those little Fortnite kids. Um, it has excellent cooling, so it's going to do pretty good. For your power supply, the thing that powers everything that plugs into the wall is a Corsair RM650. 80 plus gold, so it is like, it's reliable. It's fully modular, which I need. And you guys will probably need to have a better PC than that. But yeah, whatever. Perfect power supply, especially for the price that brings it right up to $499, like I said. So, this power supply. So, that is going to be your $500 PC. Let's go to the $1,500 PC. Now, on PC Part Picker, the price is a little bit different because some of the prices are a little bit higher because it's like different websites or whatever. But as you see right here, that's the uh, calculations from uh, Amazon. Now, mind you, uh, some of them are on sale. So, maybe go cop the stuff right now. For your CPU, we are going to go with the Ryzen 7 5800X. It's 8 core, 16 thread. This is a pretty good, like the price, look at this price right now. On sale for $179, $180, 60% uh, off. Go get it right now because this is probably going to be the best deal you get right now. I believe so. For your CPU cooler, we're going to go with the Corsair H100 X RGB Elite. It has RGB, obviously. And it's a Corsair cooler, like Corsair fans, Corsair power supply. Corsair is just a really good brand for this type of stuff. And I actually thought this would be more, but $100. For the motherboard, the Asus Rogue Strix, Strix whatever, B550F. It's Wi-Fi 2, as you can see. Third gen Ryzen, so we're going to, it's going to be all right. PCIe 4, HDMI 2.0, so it's not the fastest. But it's actually pretty good. Uh... RGB right there. This motherboard looks extremely nice for the price at $169.99. Now the Wi-Fi 2 is a specific type of motherboard where it, what it could work with, but Wi-Fi 6 e is really the wi like the fastest Wi-Fi wi you can run. Now I have actually done like uh, this type of thing on TikTok, but it was like those slideshows I just showed different prices or different types of needs in a PC, like the color of it, like white or black or whatever. But I don't think I've ever used a Trident uh, RAM in any of those. So this is a G-Scale G -Scale Trident Z RGB series. 
3600 mega i swear i i say megabytes i don't freaking care um ddr4 you are getting 32 gigabytes which is really good for the price obviously 80 dollars for 32 gigabytes now with the ssd we are actually going pretty expensive with this 170 dollars now we could be using hard drives right now we could be adding like a two four terabyte hard drive and just add a pretty slow or not pretty slow but a pretty fast like 500 gigabyte ssd and you guys can do that but i didn't do that for this is the samsung 990 pro ssds two terabyte but 70 7400 megabytes that is insane so yeah this is gonna be really fast for downloading videos or games or whatever now if you're going to go with the four terabyte obviously it's gonna be significantly more so and i feel like for a 1500 hundred dollar pc one terabyte is not gonna cut it for fifteen hundred dollars i think we did pretty good with the gpu especially because it's not renewed it's not refurbished it's brand new it's a Gigabyte GeForce RTX 4070 Super. You got a 4070 Super. $600. It's overclocked. 12 gigabytes. I mean, it's a three fan. It's not even two fans. Bigger. And obviously, that doesn't matter. But, I mean, it looks. it's going to look better. I'm just saying. Besides used, like, I don't think you're going to do better than $600 for a 4070 Super. Now, with this case, I don't think it really matters on the brand unless you like how the case looks. And as long as it's good quality. I am not completely sure that this is good quality, but for $90, you can't tell me this looks bad. Comes with three fans, so you might want to add some fans. And I didn't really think about this, and I'm, I'm sorry. There's one in the back, two at the side. Uh, You will be having your CPU cooler. You probably add that to the top or move that away or whatever. Uh, and then just put those up there and add an extra fan at one point. Um, but fits 122 i mean 120 millimeter fans so i mean that's just on the size i believe the top would do better but yeah atx case obviously and i didn't say your name because i don't even know how to pronounce it must to must text last but not least we got the thing that powers it all we have the corsair rm 750x fully modular 80 plus gold low noise just like the other one the 650 corsair is just the way to go when it comes to power supplies I actually have the same exact power supply in my PC right now. And because I actually have a 3060 Ti, I'll probably be keeping this for a while. So with the last PC, you could actually keep that power supply until you even like until you get a graphics card. If it's a 3090, then I think that'll probably top it or that might be just a little bit more than it should be. But this is going to be great and pretty much right at the same exact point the 4070 super is so you'll be doing good now for those rich kids we are going to move on to the 3700 dollar pc all right for this pc we got to make this intense um we could have went with a thread ripper but i am not really familiar with that so we went the with the ryzen 9 70 so we went with the amd ryzen 9 7950 uh x3d bro 16 core 32 thread Yes, it's five hundred dollars, but and it's this big, but I mean, it's, yeah, it's gonna be fast. You're gonna be, you're gonna be good. Now, obviously, with this price point, you're gonna have pretty much the type of top of the line. So NZXT Kraken Elite three hundred and sixty millimeter R RGB. It's got a screen on it, so I believe you could change it. Um, sure you can. It's got RGB fans, and by the way, this full PC build is gonna be white. So be excited for that. And by the way, looking back to uh, the other cooler, that is also liquid cooled just like this. For the motherboard, we got the Gigabyte X670E, try not to stutter, Arus, or whatever. How, I don't know how to pronounce some of this stuff, but it's PCIe 5, but you can still use, you can still use PCIe 4, it's all right. Quad M.2, so that means you can fit four SSDs in it. DDR5 for the RAM, obviously. It's pretty nice. I mean, it looks amazing. Wi-Fi 7 for AM5 processors. For the RAM, this might be a little bit overkill. DDR5, 128 gigabytes. That's 432 gigabyte RAMs, like, 
sticks. Kinks and Fury Beast, they're RGB obviously. Fully white for our fully white build. Now this is, it's kind of overkill. Eight terabytes, and what I mean by that, yes, that says two, but let's just say we add four of them because there's four slots. 7,400 megabytes, which is amazing. It's a 990 Pro. I mean, I don't know what else you can really do. Four terabytes times four would be 16, so I, that's just twice this, so I don't know what you're doing at that point. There's literally no point in doing all that unless you want to run 1,700 freaking monitors and no i'm not saying that runs 1700 monitors i'm i'm just saying in a funny way i guess and i just spoiled it but here is the gpu it's the 4080 super i did not go with the 4090 because that thing is crazy expensive it's like 800 dollars more than this um 16 gigabytes it it's gonna you are gonna run great fps and your pc is gonna I mean, it might overheat a little bit. I'm not sure. But as long as you got fans in there, it's going to be good. Now, obviously, this GPU is not going to be small. It's a 4080 Super. So that's why we went with the case we went with. And it's the NZXT H9 Flow Dual Chamber. I mean, chamber. But look at this thing. Look how amazing you can make that thing. It's got glass at the side, glass at the front. You got plenty of space in there. ATX. I mean, it's quite cheap for how good it looks and how quality it is. Last but not least, we have the power supply. The thing that powers it all. The Corsair RM1200X shift fully modular. Fully modular. 1200 watts. I think that is a bit much, but who cares? This is a $3,700 build. You got almost all the money you could ever have for a PC. Not, not literally, but... This is gonna overpower everything. And that, no, that's a good thing though. You're gonna do good, trust me. Obviously it's gotta be fully white and Corsair. Guys, if you like all these builds, please like and subscribe. Please comment and tell me what kind of builds you want. The price point, the looks, the decoration, whatever it is, RGB. Tell me in the comments. Um, I'm hoping that I can do more of these, but you guys gotta tell me, gotta support. Uh, so yeah. Um, tell me any other video ideas and I got you guys. Peace.